<clears throat> okay, let's have a look around this uh, 2001 Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 Tomb Raider Limited Edition. I think there's only 250 of these ever made. Um, and this is one of them, as, as always in Bonatti Grey with the, uh, the nice half leather um, black interior in six seater spec. Basically a Tomb Raider is a 90 county station wagon um, that's been heavily upgraded uh, with all the bits that you can see on here. It's, uh, it's exactly as a Tomb Raider should be with the snorkel and the big roof rack, the full roll cage, um, the black alloys uh, and all the stuff around the front end. Um, and the snorkel and everything, and the extra lights. This is how they should be. Well, this one has also had the uh, the benefit of a 40 millimeter um, suspension lift on it. It's fitted with a matching set of five Cooper Discoverer STT size wise. What are they? Two six five seventy five R sixteens, including the spare, which is actually unused. Um, it's got uh, steering guard and diff guards underneath it. It's got light guards front and rear. A bar with extra lights and four extra lights on the top that are all wired in and work properly. It's got the proper Tomb Raider side steps, all the proper checker plate, uh, the North American spec rear step with uh, um, double tow pack with double electrics. Um, inside, this one is fitted with a Momo sports steering wheel, um, centre console down here, metal cubby box. Uh, the correct um, alloy knobs on there. Um, it's also fitted with these rather lovely and expensive um, Outlast uh, canvas seat covers that are pro properly fitted, but the, the seats underneath are in great shape. That's how they should be. Black leather there and this sort of bobbly material here. Um, but these seat covers are uh, proper Exmoor trim ones and in great, really, really nice shape, so we're going to leave them on. Um, four individual seats in the back with inertia reel seat belts. She's, uh, it's got the proper um, metal mats on the floor, the way the Tomb Raider should have. It's basically exactly as it should be. Um, this one's also got the benefit of uh, twisted performance engine upgrades, uh, intercooler, turbo pipes, uh, exhaust and remapping, and it goes like stink. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm using it as a daily driver at the minute, enjoying every minute of it. Uh, it's also got a dateless plate, would normally be on a Y registration, but it's on a, uh, on a dateless plate which comes with a car. Anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Nothing really in the way of bad bits, although, um, as with all Tomb Raiders, it's prepared for off-roading. If it's ever seen any off-road action, it's been very, very gentle because there's no uh, nasty scratches on it anywhere. Um, the paint is in generally good shape. Some of the electrolytic reaction has been touched in here and there. But around the front end, the bonnet's all nice. There's a slight mark just there on the bonnet. But that's all good. A um, little bit of touching in just there has been going on. There's a very, very faint depression just there. It looks like it's been touched in, actually, on the front of the near side front wing, but no more than that. And looking down the near side, she's as about as straight as the Defender gets, really. Um, scuffle corner on the near side is very good. The hinge here has been repainted by the look of it. As always, they lose their paint. Um, but the scuttle corner is all very good. Screen seal is nice, actually. <coughs> um, near side door. Tiny parking dink just there. A couple of minor ripples around the door handle, as always. Um, inside, she's absolutely lovely. Um, tiny mark in the headlining just above the, uh, the driver's seat there, but that's really about it. Uh, it's all exactly as you'd expect in here. Door bottoms are very good, they're the latest style doors on one of these, so they don't rust in the same way, but they're all nice. Uh, near side rear wing is all good. Around the tail end, cross member all looks nice. There's some electrolytic reactions been touched in here in the proper paint, um, just down here on the back of the tailgate as you, uh, as you expect, but otherwise all as it should be and in the back here as I say you've got your four individual seats that are all up at the moment but uh, they're all correct with the half leather trim um, door card's the correct one it's all oh, and the, the um, bulkhead removal kit is normal Tomb Raider as well um, oh we didn't check the bottom of the tailgate frame did we tailgate bottom frame is very good indeed no problems with that at all. And certainly the spare wheel doesn't rattle on the tailgate the way it does when they get a bit old and tired. Looking down the offside, apart from I haven't shut the driver's door properly. Um, looking down the offside, again, 
really very straight, a couple of minor dinks in the driver's door around the hinge, around the um, handle, but again that's normal. A um, couple of spots of reaction just there, and on the barrel side, oh sorry, on the tub top trim just there, and it's obviously had a bit painted, in fact this section has been repainted by the look of it, because it's obviously uh, lost its lacquer or something up there. Um, driver's door, tiny parking dink just there, scuffle corner, first class, again hinges have been uh, touched in, um, offside front wing, lovely, a little bit of reaction coming up around the Tomb Raider icon badge on the wing there, and inside here, uh, it's all again exactly as, uh, as it should be, um, driver's door, bottom, Feels absolutely fine, not moving on the hinges, all good. Um, right, that's about all I can say about it, it's a lovely Defender this. So I'm very much enjoying using it as a daily driver at the moment. But uh, one of the collectible ones, um, here to be sold. My name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0771 906 9353. Um, sorry, that's my mobile number, or in the office on 0118 907 1495. Um, we take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.